Hello everyone, welcome to Code for Placement. Uh, in today's video, we will see the exact conversion. We will be having string. This string need to be converted into zigzag manner. Means we are having PayPal is hiring. So this PayPal is basically in this order. If you can see PayPal is hiring. So uh, this is zigzag matter. This is a zigzag order. So basically how this zigzag works is you will be having first alphabet in first place then it will go down then it will go down and again it will come up up and again down down again it will go up again it will go up again it will come down again it will come down and again it will go up up and down so first we are we know that this is a number of rows so we will be given a one more value along with the string that is number of row will be also given given a number that will be number of row so basically we have given an string and this string we also have given a number of row okay that is very simple till here we don't have any sort of uh, issues till here it is completely fine so let's understand the approach of this question first so how we are going to approach to this question how we are going to solve this question so let's i am taking example two in example two i am just taking paypal is hiring and the row number is equal to four okay so if i am taking paypal is hiring and row number is equal to four so my string will be uh something with p a y p a L I S H here I will get it as I then again I will be getting it as R then it will be I then it will be N it will be G so this is how my uh, string will be converted into uh, character means zigzag order okay now let's find out the indexes or let's check out the index if i want to write out or if it will be converted into array so my index will be p will be 0 this will be 1 this is 2 this is 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 if you understood the approach you can able to write the code immediately okay so that's why i'm focusing more on a approach wise rather than going on a directly on code so we are having the character and we are having the string now let's find out the relation between first row element if we have to find out so it will be p i n n right so after converting into the first after converting into the zigzag manner how we have to give the output the output supposed to be in p i n first row will be element will be together and the then after that second row element will be together second row element that is a l s i g then third row element will be together which is y a h r after that the last row element will be together pi so this is my final output this is my final output which i have to send it right so next now first of all understand the how the first row uh, is combined so if i am having 0 here i am having 6 here i am having 12 so if i will say that it is being uh, uh, written in this order of uh, if I have to go to the next step, it should be nothing but step is equal to 2 into 2 into whatever the num row num rows minus 2. Num row is nothing but row num or num row this is right. So my step is nothing but 2 into my row num minus 2. Correct? No issues in this. After that, this is my uh, second row so let's if i am going to understand let's find out from 0 to 0 then 6 if i have to find out it will be nothing but 2 into 
row num is 4 minus 2 which is nothing but uh, 6 right so it is being increased by 6 element so this is plus 6 this is plus 6 this I found out in the same way my second row element which will be this this and this is also being increased by 6 my third row element which is like first and the last this last row element is also increased by 6 right now we have to find out this is also being increased by 6 means this adjacent one the same distance now we have to find out the middle element to find out the middle element I am I have to find out what is the relation between the middle element in that case I am I'm, it will be very clear that this pattern is nothing but we are having let's say if I am having um, uh, again we, if we are converting this i and j format <coughs> let's write the same thing to the i and j format Yes, so I have just written these elements which I will I will be finding out after my step after adding up to this, these steps I found out one element that I have written it here. Now let's understand what is the how to find out the middle element. This is my middle element right. So let me highlight it with the yellow color. So this is my middle element right. This is my middle element i. This r is also my middle element and my 4 is also a middle element. So how I will be finding out these middle elements that I have to check. So for this case, I will be using the step called J plus steps minus 2 into I. I is nothing but number of row. Okay. Number of row that particular row number. So with this formula, I can easily find out my middle element of any case if you will take it any of the case we will find out the middle element so now i got two formulas one is step two minus num row minus two and this is second one so let's find let's use these two equations to drive our code and get the output okay you are facing some issue with the string builder so i've just written so we will be starting this uh, class public we have just initiated and num row if it is null then we will be sending a null uh, we will be returning a empty string and if it is a one we will be returning row num is equal to one then it we will be returning the same string because the zigzag order can't be formed with the same row and uh, also if we are having a string builder then we have just creating the result and after this the int uh, we have this is the first equation which we have framed uh, this is the first equation this one and in the second equation um, we are just iterating it uh, along with i number of rows and in this one we are just taking the second operation to find out the middle element and after this we are just uh, passing the result let's find out uh, whether uh, let's run this code and let's find out so if i'm going to run this yeah super here we go so uh, we got this one let's see the console so if i'm getting uh, my uh, cases run uh, means if I'm having all those strings which is need to be converted into the zigzag order uh, this is how the output and the expectations is so uh, yeah that's all so this is for today uh, thank you so much uh, for being with us and do subscribe to code for placement for more such videos um, please do subscribe for us and um, yeah this is one of the easiest way to solve zigzag questions so thank you so much
for being with us thank you